Well, I'm very proud to be uh, one of the ambassadors for Real Sisters. I believe this is my third annual uh, ambassadorship, uh, and this is the 18th year uh, that Real Sisters has been in existence. It's just exciting on so many levels. Um, one, the, the focus on uh, African Americans, uh, the focus on African American and black women, uh, and the fact that it's film. It's just a lot of things uh, that I am very much interested interested in. Uh, film okay. is, a, is a big part of, uh, of me, actually. I was film production was originally a film production major, ended up being a film production minor. And uh, drama and theater and the arts is something I'm huge at. And anytime I can combine those things, I think it's fantastic. And a lot of the content that comes out of Real Sisters, I think, is uh, very political and activist in nature, uh, which is also good. So it's just exciting to be able to do that. I view it also as a as in a woman's equality uh, issue when it comes to the arts in general, and um, women's equality is just big on whether it's how much they're getting paid. You, know, you saw a lot of that with the women's soccer team, um, and how much they're actually in control uh, of the industry that they're a part of. Uh, so uh, my mother happens to be a woman, and my sister as well. So these issues are always uh, very big to me. And then you you combine that with the fact of. If, there, if you don't have a certain amount of control of it, then the content that's being put out there, how you're being perceived, um, may not be the reality of, of who you are. I'm just excited that I'm able to present uh, to these trailblazers uh, at a time when, uh, in some cases, a little, it might be even a little easier for some folks because of the work they have already done and the fact that they're still involved and say, I'm gonna come back and share uh, what I've done and kind of help push it even further. It's just amazing for me. So I'm glad that I'm able to present every single year and I look forward to presenting again this. So I think it's exciting to some folks, uh, and a lot of folks actually, it's exciting to people to get a proclamation with the city council seal, uh, oftentimes signed by the speaker, signed by other council members, uh, people who very much respect what they're doing, they signed by uh, African, women, African American women uh, council members as well. Uh, so these are the people I think that they, they had in mind. And just to, that means the political, uh, the political arena is recognizing how important uh, Real Sisters is and what they're trying to accomplish. And I think it's, uh, it's amazing, you know, you start something 18 years, but you don't know exactly if the vision is going to uh, be accomplished. And I think it's safe to say that the vision is being accomplished. You have Centric uh, that uh, has, has just come out themselves a, a few years back, uh, and they have the same goal, uh, looking at the same uh, target population to give them and empower them uh, the ability to provide content uh, that is not monolithic. Uh, and Real Sisters is doing the same thing. So it's great that it can be paired up. It provides even greater uh, legitimacy and it provides an even greater audience uh, to be able to present the content to. So uh, it just shows us a testament to Real Sisters how much they're growing and how much they're being respected. Well, I'm BK all day, so uh, I'm always excited when Brooklyn's being promoted. Uh, it's just something that brings a lot of joy to me. The fact that people come from all over the world to Real Sisters shows uh, the wide girth that Real Sisters have and the reach that it has. Uh, Brooklyn has seen a, res a resurgence uh, in, 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 in many, many ways, and uh, not every part of Brooklyn actually has felt that resurgence. And I believe that Real Sisters uh, focuses on a population that may not have felt the resurgence and may have felt the benefits um, of the, the tourism and, and the attention that some of the other parts of the borough has. And so I think some of the content that's presented in Real Sisters also helps uh, people uh, recognize and see the entire borough, uh, the borough in its entirety and not just a couple of neighbors they may have heard of. So all those things make it fantastic uh, for the, that population and for Brooklyn as a whole, I think it's great. I definitely try to take a look at the vendors. Um, I'm usually in and out, but I'll try to see if I can pick up something. Definitely the food. Um, I'm from Brooklyn, so yeah. I'm, I'm home. Um, but obviously with that big concentration of people there, uh, people are going to partake. Not only the vendors are there, uh, but some of the local stores uh, that are around where the film festival is being conducted. Obviously everybody knows Junior, so you may want to uh, take a dip there. But uh, I still call it uh, Alby Square Mall, but uh, Fulton Mall in that area uh, definitely is going to see an increase of people coming to shop 
in their in their stores and in that area. And I think it's just obviously when you have a bunch of people coming to a specific location, it's going to beef up the local um, the local businesses that are there. And Real Sits is definitely no different. I mean, I think we have to get uh, Brooklyn to uh, own it. I mean, you see the Tribeca Film Festival, and it's just a, a big ownership of Tribeca and the political establishment. Everybody kind of just owns it. I think we want to see the same thing happen with Brooklyn. Uh, the political establishment, um, the Chamber of Commerce needs to just really adopt the film festival and really begin to promote it.